Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about shapes. So I'll go ahead, add a new page and click all in shapes. So there are many different kinds of shapes that Canva gives you. If you want, you can go ahead and search for, um, let me search for a triangle. So, so these are all the shapes a lot of shapes so I'm going to go ahead click this shape and in fact you can go to one of the corners and resize this you can go here and turn it around whichever way you want it to I'm going to leave it here uh, suppose you want to change the color of the shape so click this Go go here, click on the color and choose the color. I'm going to choose red or black, whichever one you want. Again, just like the image, you can crop it. You can take only like this part if you want to. I don't know, but I don't really like this. Anyway, but if you want it, you can have it. And then you can go ahead, flip it horizontally and flip it vertically, etc. So that's with the shapes. If you don't, uh, if you don't want, you can just go ahead, leave it, change the color, change the size. And there you go. You can use this. But I'm telling you that if you want to crop it, you can crop it. But I do not prefer doing that. So the next things that we are going to learn are multicolored shapes, like this one here, or like this one here. So. It's a shape, a pyramid, but it's multicolored. So if you want to change the colors of this, click green. This this green here corresponds to this green. So if I change any color here, that would be reflected here, right? So I'm going to change this to pink, and I'm going to change this dark green to purple. Oops, the colors don't look that great, but I just want you to understand that you can do whatever color changes that you want. Doesn't matter what shape it is, but yes, you can do it. Uh, it's important to know that some shapes here <coughs> are paid, like this one. Like this one, there is a watermark. You can see the, I hope you can see the watermark in the video. Like you cannot download the shapes without the watermarks. You have to pay for these shapes. So I, I try avoiding those things because oftentimes I work for a lot of people and oftentimes you don't really need these kinds of shapes that Canva, that you need to pay Canva for. So I generally do not use that shapes, but in fact, sometimes I need them. I go to different sources and get them. And in some time, I'll tell you what are those sources and where you can find exactly these kinds of patterns and images for free all right in the next video we are going to talk about charts